Oh shit, I'm gonna live chat. That's better. Ah, Jacob's in. CK Armory. What's going on, man? Lee's in. Got a foot here so far. Yeah, I don't know where we got 10 inches, something like that. We, I don't think we got quite as much as you. Shannon's in. Cody's in. Shannon, you get any snow over that way? Jeff Lee's in. Jeff, what's going on, man? We made up for it with the window, Lee. Holy fuck. We got uh, some pretty impressive snow drifts going on out there, I'll say. <laughs> Justin's in. Justin, what's going on? No snow, 36 in rain. Well, fuck. Happy New Year to you too, Jacob. <laughs> Plowing snow as we speak. Listening in for now. Perfect. Get her done. <laughs> Lee said the wind hasn't been bad here. It's fucking 20 plus all day. She made her fucking meter drift pretty good. Eli's in. I'm here and on time. Perfect. Still waiting for snow. Not even a foot. No shit. Anthe is in. Happy New Year. Ricky's in. Says, how's everyone tonight? Good you. Alex is at work. Did he tell you? I buried his phone 16 feet deep in the ground. Well, he probably couldn't tell me that if he buried it. Jeremy's in. Luke's in. Did see minus 58 week before, though. Fuck's sake. 38 in rain, coastal Maine, Josh says. Dalton's in. He got a loner. Perfect. <laughs> The hell was he that deep in the ground for? <laughs> tiling. Damn. They're bar burying tiling that deep? Fuck's sake. <laughs> it's been fun driving around on whiteout conditions. I'm sick of the snow. Yeah, me too. Where'd all the stuff go off the shelf behind you? The shelf, you mean the bench? Most of it got filed. By filed, I mean throwing the fuck out. The other few couple of things I just put away. That's what I'm understanding. All right. Uh, oh, we got five inches of rain. Damn. Steve Max in. Steve, what's going on, man? I haven't got this, this, this ski do running yet. Too many other irons in the fire, but... It's in the snow. Need rock off my road? You call it a welding table, but I've never seen you weld on it. Only ever seen it used as a shelf. Hey. Okay, it's a big steel shelf. How's that? I want to know why if he had his phone down there, why he was down there that far. Yeah, no shit. Have a cold beer on me. Dalton, I appreciate you, buddy. Rice is in. Will's in. Snow missed us. Perfect. Well, I'm sure the trail groomer will be out. Oh, I'm... They haven't been through the swamp yet. That motherfucker ain't frozen up. I don't know if his YouTube is logged in or not. Yeah. Luke said the snow missed me, too. Perfect. Bryce said he got your share of the snow, Will. I've had my share for the whole fucking year. I'm tired of it. <laughs> Steven Smith's in. Chuck's in. Are you buried yet, Rick? I've had enough. I'm tired of moving snow all fucking day. I still haven't plowed the driveway. Plowed everything up here at the farm, and I didn't get time to put the blade on and plow the driveway, so the hell with it. I had to run and get feed. 
Scratch says, spent all day shoveling and plowing and never even made it into the shop, so I figured the best way to finish wasting a day was work live stream. Perfect. Had to stop in to say my hellos. Going to enjoy the peace and quiet for an hour. Get her done. Appreciate you, Shannon. So I've been doing all day plowing snow. We started at 6.30 this morning, and I got done 10 minutes ago. Fuck. Luke wants to know if we get Ford shop stories tonight. Cody says, Toby, you made it before bedtime. Shan said, it. also hit the like button. Bye. Appreciate you. Well, he said, I'm glad, glad he's got a large snowblower, I bet. Water. Watton Wan County snowplow rolled over yesterday, so they pulled the plows early yesterday. Damn. <laughs> We have it just rain here. It's 33 here now. Fuck. Getting right on that verge, though. All irons in. My wife still wears the t-shirt to work. Bark it. Perfect. They're not even running snowmobiles on the trails in Carrick yet. All you can see from the road is broken down trees blocking the trail. There's been a few bobbing through the swamp out here, but... My understanding is back in the neighbors back there is a shit show. I grim trails at the local county park here in southeast Minnesota, grimming tomorrow. There's a lot of snow on the trees, so it should be a scenic grimming tomorrow, I bet. <laughs> Had an airplane run off the runway down here yesterday and over a thousand vehicle spin outs. Holy shit. Austin's in. Says Bork showed out to Mountain Man Motorsports at a s- s- Sumner, Maine. John Beardsley. Happy New Year, buddy. On the bright side, the last snow is so wet it can't drift. Not here. Drift like a motherfucker. Mud, mud, I love mud. Not. I bet. I gotta get some some crushed rock or something. Unless you got too much mud, then it just pounds the fucking rock into the mud and you got mud on top of rock. Well, he has no snowplow been by your house yet. I just talked to my neighbor who lives up in the cities. <clears throat> Part time said 10 inches and no snowplow has been by yet. Everybody was stuck in the road. Saw the semi that spun out on the ramp and then the other one that tried to go around him spun out too and blocked the whole effing thing. Must have been a pretty good pileup on fucking... Banning Hill in 35, too, because their Banning parking lot was full of fucking wrecked vehicles, so. One of the two had a fucking pretty good. Bryce says, I heard the body shops in Twin Cities are booked for 2023. Huh. A lot of people say they're booked. Blooming declared a snow emergency for out of city streets. I have to fucking clear out a lot of shit. Go to your and try out that beer now. I had to have one to prime the pump. So what? You sink as you walk across my fields. I had to go to Somerset, Wisconsin this morning. Wisconsin said the hell with the plow trucks and went right to the road graders. Perfect. Oh, that one's full full. Holy shit. We got all the drops in that one. Fucking right to the right to the top there. 
Y'all don't like the mud? Mmm. I like it. How many people here run studded tires? Not around here. Don Fraser's in. Where's Katie? Katie's in the house. My son lives near Sioux Falls, and Kyle, they got hit hard with snow. Yeah, I heard fuck all from Kyle today. Oh, he's texting me. Somebody wants something. Went to Golden Valley in Chaska today. County roads were good. For you ways suck. Matthew Shelley's in. How the fuck are you? Kidding you. It's a foamy fucker. Justin's got to go back to work. Stay out of trouble, eh? I'll try. No guarantees. Tire studs are illegal in Minnesota. Yeah, they think they're in a road. Kyle told me they had 14 inches and enough wind to get six foot drifts. Nice. That's good for him. He needs something to do. That's a tasty beer. Salt is worse on the roads and cars. That's right. Yep, no, I still got pigs left. I got beef hanging right now. That's probably going to happen this weekend or early next week. Minnesota roads already fall apart. Studs ain't going to hurt them. That's true. Studs are illegal if they catch you using them. Otherwise, everything is perfectly legal. Just don't get caught. There you go. Oatmeal cookie stout here tonight. Perfect. Cheers, beers. Cody said it wasn't acceptable to drink this out of the bottle. So. The outlawed chain and studs in 73, they promised they would take care of the roads. Huh. <coughs> well, that's worked well. They could run studs, not scrape and salt to bare pavement and do less damage to the roads. That's right. They have to be looking pretty fucking hard to see tire studs around here. Why dirty up a glass when the bottle works just fine? This is pretty tasty, I gotta say. You remember Blaine Shots? He always ran studs on his F-350. He said all the young highway patrol officers don't even know what they're, they're looking at. That's true. Lee says, I remember my dad helping my dad pull out those studs. The beer comes in a glass bottle. That's right. I haven't seen studded tires in 30 years. That's the fifth place beer. Well, that's pretty fucking good, if you ask me. Kentucky boys in. What's going on, man? What is happening tonight? I like studs, but fuck, they're trash on bare pavement, noisy and squirmy. Yeah. <sighs> Studded snow tires became implement tires in 74. <sighs> I think there's still a few out there. Oh. Uh. Yeah, and the window on the uh, east side of the shop there, east end of the shop, the snow has drifted up about halfway up the window now. Hell no, whole lot. what about you? Just plowing snow and working my ass off. That's it. That's all I got. 
Squatch, I might send Connor up to dig out hay bales this weekend. <laughs> I got shit to do. Used to have an old, have a set of double studded old bias ply town and country snow tires. I got NOS. Damn. Where's the two knotheads? In the back. All the mud tires that douchebags run on their pickups that never see a speck of dirt are always noisier, are way noisier. That's right. Especially when they got loose front end parts and those fuckers get chopped up. You can hear them coming from fucking half mile behind you. Full bias by aggressive tires with studs were amazing on everything with dry roads. I bet. <laughs> Fucking sinuses are plugged up. Plugged out a turn around, plowed out a turn around just inside the driveway opening last storm. He'll have to plow the rest away in himself. I figured that. That's fine. I'll send him up there with the big bucket. We had a new driver go through the Rockies. He came back with a shot set of chain, tire chains. The boss asked him if it had been bad. He told the old man something that the sparks really flew. Sometimes the sparks really flew. Damn. <laughs> Are those studs carbide or just steel? I think you'd get them either way, couldn't you? Fancy if you want one with carbide. Luke says, Cody, thanks for the follow, by the way, but my main channel is Fly Navy P3. Rick Brandt says, blowing snow, worn out, just got here. Rick, how's it going, man? Saw a couple of those videos of combines converted to snowblowers. There's one for sale on Facebook, I think. Just tell him he's on the get to put back any road gravel that gets scraped up. I mean, like the kid, but rules of rules. Hey. That's fair. Missed the old bias, bias directional tread tires. Those are unstoppable. I'll just tell them to go straight ahead. Just don't run into the wellhead. <laughs> go across the grass. I don't give a fuck. There ain't nothing in there to hurt. <laughs> I don't want to rake road gravel. Fuck that. Too old to be wrestling a snowblower. Tear up all the field grass he won't. Probably easier to go straight in anyway than try to go fucking around the corner. It's all just gonna drift back in as soon as I get the fucking hay out of there anyway. I don't know how the drifting is at your place, but here, holy fucking shit. It's drifted in enough now that uh between shoveling the deck off and where it's drifted in. You can't shovel the deck off any, or push it off the deck anymore. You have to throw it up. Luke wants to know if you burn a full tank of fuel and big red plowing yet. Oh, I bet. Time we find you a snowblower, Rick. The only problem with that is there's so many rocks and uneven fucking ground around here. I don't know how that would work. How old is too old for a snowblower, Rick? For a... I don't want to wrestle one of those bastards around. I got two of them. Rick Plow with the skitter and the V Plow. Trouble is, I'd have to take the fucking skitter up there. Then I'd have to take the fucking V Plow up there because I'm not running up the fucking road to plow on it. So. Shannon says, okay, what are we stopping? All of it. Fuck it. Scott says, sorry to hear about all your snow. Shit happens. <laughs> Too much work.
Yeah, we haven't had much for drifts yet. Luke, yes, I've burnt just over one full tank between the last two storms. Usually fill it up when it hits half tank. Perfect. Evan Kibby's in. Uh. Drive the skinner right down 23 with the plow on it. Fuck him. Who's going to stop you? I don't want to carry that much weight for that far, especially when I don't have counterweight. She's going to get all squirrely on the fucking road. I can tell you right now. Because that ass end ain't going to do fuck all for steering, and you know it. <laughs> Correction's not going to be easy. No snow in Oklahoma. Hell, it was 70 a couple of days ago. Perfect. Bryce says snow. I've seen it once or twice. Evan just got home. If anyone gets in the way, you can push them right in the ditch. Yeah, the problem is I'll end up in the fucking ditch. It doesn't steer very well with the plow in the air. No. Probably not advisable to run down the fucking highway with that plow on the ground either. How cold is it right now? 26. Drag trees for your counter. It'd be sporty. Yeah, it'd be sporty, all right. Robert Kitzel's in. Shop is looking good. Appreciate you. It's kind of dirty, but otherwise, I have a bunch of shit to put away. Too damn cold. Got it. High range in the Ox box. Grab gears in the main box and let it eat. Evan says it's 33 right now. Got an interesting package from corporate today. Thanks for five years of service. Enjoy the plaque in this $100 Amazon card. Wow. Five years, you get a hundred bucks, huh? Dalton says it's 55 there right now. Perfect. 26 is a heat wave around here. Better than a poke in the eye, but a hundred bucks is kind of an insult. Kind of an insult. I would rather they just say thank you. Yeah, you put a value on it like that. You may as well just have the thank you and the plaque. Yeah, and plaque is whatever, but a hundred bucks is eh. now you valued it at twenty dollars a year. Thanks. Saw thirty four mid morning. I was pleasantly surprised. Then you think how much more 100 bucks was worth five years ago, right? <laughs> I got a cheap ass Chinese watch for 20 years. Fuck's sake. I got a shitty watch for 25 years. Luke says Toby fuck one year ago. Yeah. That was $175 last year. Ducky's in. Bucky's in. I should say Bucky. Arthur. 32 in and 23 thumbs up. Y'all be slacking. We're drinking the big bottle tonight. Hundred bucks used to be a couple tanks of gas. Now it's only two thirds of a tank. It's true. Michael Brass says I got five hundred when I retired three years ago. Fuck's sake. You jacked out of a plane. <laughs> With a Martin Baker seat. 
You get an $8,500 watch. No shit. When my coworker hit 30 years, he got a Marlin 3030 rifle with his name inscribed on it. Fuck that noise. Martin Baker. That's what I said, isn't it? They give me $125 bonus every year at Christmas. The joke's on them. I've been there 22 years. Fuck's sake. Luke says, Matthew, you only got 25 more years to get that gun. Why I don't work for corporate. My boss don't give me any fucking bonuses, dickhead. I get a fifty dollar gift card every Christmas. I always spend it on beer. It's a good plan. Shannon says, I got a monthly thank you check from the Navy for 20 years of service. Appreciate you. Matthew says, I, he has to live 25 more years first. Ah, fuck. You got a whole bunch. Shit. We can cash in up to six months of unused sick time when we retire. Perfect. I guess uh, Martin Baylor figures if you eject and survive, the government needs to buy another $200,000 ejection seat to have you go flying in the next plane. So they buy you a watch. Perfect. You can only get the watch if you eject, too. Rick, your boss is a dickhead. I know. My boss is a fucking dickhead. I'd punch him in the face, but I think it hurt me more than it hurt him. Start smoking weed. You'll live forever like Willie Nelson. <laughs> oh, Willie. Ah. Uh. Bryce says, if I tap over, I got 15 inches. We had 15 inches wet. I blew it out. My ass is dragging. Perfect. Bryce, I appreciate you. Luke says, Shannon, thanks for your service. Steve's going to live forever. <laughs> Fuck the way this world's going. I don't want to live forever. Wake me up when it's over. <laughs> Willie will be 90 this year. Shannon and I am drinking uh, craft beer by courtesy of Cody Indigard. Indigard Acres. It's heavy. Gonna log off to Big Island this year. I doubt it. I don't know that it's gonna get frozen enough. If I started packing a road, maybe. But probably not. I got plenty to cut here at the farm that I gotta get focused on first. I wanna get that southeast section cleared out. Hey, Steve Mack, I found the bad cannabis oil in my house. Perfect. Evan says, I wish I had a beer. Well, fuck. Time to make a beer run. B-O-E-O-R-U-N. Beer run. J. 
Justin's in. Justin, what's going on, man? Been seeing squash ball snow like a fucking mad man. How much have y'all got up to this point? Uh, a couple, three feet. Some goddamn thing. Did you make it? <laughs> You'd have to start packing your road right now. The trails I've made to the swamp with the stone be all like walking on side on a sidewalk now. <laughs> I don't usually we need a good hard freeze we before we got a lot of snow. I'm not gonna risk it out there. Next time I get some money, I think I will get a case for fuck's sake. Perfect. Kentucky boy says, I agree, this world's going to hell in a handbasket. Yeah. Yeah, I don't foresee any, uh, trying to pack any fucking logging roads down across there. Justin wants a Scoots and Lucy story tonight. <laughs> <coughs> Fuck. Iron Man's in. I had to watch the Canada versus U.S. Ju World Juniors game. Kicked your asses. Perfect. I uh, give no fucks. Just saying. I have little to no interest in fucking sports. I know you don't. <laughs> Gave it to my son-in-law for Christmas. He hasn't been worth a shit since. There you go. I'm sickly. I need to pick me up. Uh. On Ponto Lake, we always had a, about a foot of slush on a lake. Got to keep up your momentum or you'll be stuck. I bet you'd have an interest in women's beach volleyball. No. No, I just don't. There's way too many realities there. You probably already said, but how much of that white shit fell for so far? We probably got 30 plus inches on the ground right now, but we got 10 yesterday and or last night and today. Still fucking snowing though. Like a motherfucker. So, well, I always noticed how everybody at work always said we won when the games went well, but it's, it was always they lost and it didn't when it didn't. I didn't follow any stick and ball stuff either. <laughs> Cody said, I don't care about the sports part of it. I, I don't care about any of it. Not my circus, not my monkeys. Just saying. Michael says, watching sports is a waste of time. Do something. Iron Man said, I remember running out of room to pilot. Yeah, well, I I started pushing it back way back early, so I got a lot of room. I can still turn a semi around in here pretty easy, but... Around the cul-de-sac and in the middle of the cul-de-sac, but fucking hell. Shannon said it would appear that I'm in the minority here being a football fan. Different strokes for different folks. Just not my deal. I just... Uh, been pulling the ceiling down, replacing the insulation, and putting the ceiling back for two weeks now in the trailer house. Finished it today. Perfect. Don't know if you're old enough, but you remember the man show on Comedy Central, Girls on Trampolines? Well, 
Cody says, love that show. Lee says, yes, Toby. Well, here at work this time of year, guys, talking about hockey, fastest way to make them disappear. Maybe that's why they do it. Make me disappear. <coughs> Ryan McLean's in. What's going on, man? I learned at a young age to hate professional sports. All the hired people that milked cows for us years ago played sports. Poorest workers ever lacked any brains to get anything done. It's all just the Roman circus. Michael says he don't do TV, just a very few YouTubers appreciate you. I'm not even going to try to carry that tune, Tobe, because I don't carry a tune. I'm going to carry a tune in a five-gallon bucket, but I got it. Logan's in. What's going on? Ryan's planning some stuff out. Look, who wants to know if we get a Scoots and Lucy story? Comedy Central jumping for dollars, Squatch. We're one about Randy. Heard Randy's back in uh, back to wrenching again. Rumor has it. Told by a fairly reliable source. Or oh, recant the time that Toby drove the hole through a piston? Well. I hadn't heard that rumor yet. So it happens when you know and work on most of the people, other people's stuff that's on the fire department. <laughs> Squatch is in early. And Kyle's in late. The sports players are pussies. Sheep shearers are the real athletes. Out blowing snow at a snow day off school, and I'm not coming. So I'm not coming. That's right. Oh. Jan says, didn't get the opportunity to watch the man show much. Was out to see a lot during those years. There you go. Looking like you need to bring back the cartoon, Rick. Fuck, if I had time. I pressed the top out of a 60 piston. Perfect. Kyle had to wait for a video uh, upload. I, I gotta get some internet before I can bring back fucking anything. I'm surprised the live stream's doing as well as it is tonight. I can't get shit to upload. I don't know why, but... Starlink's probably not too far out. Just gotta get some other shit taken care of. I'll take your word for that. I don't know anything about sheep shears to compare you to. You look like a hard worker to me, though. Most of the people nowadays are too soft to do anything. Nathan, I haven't heard from the ring guy. I'll call you tomorrow. I'll call tomorrow. Perfect. Get her done, Luke. Go pester somebody else. Son of a bitch. I'm running out. I know Toby's internet was down for a little bit. I take it yours is down as well. Oh, if so, any idea when you might get it back? Well, I've been running off my cell phone for ever, but fucking cell phone service has been terrible since the big storm we had. So, Squash 253, who dat video? Not looking forward to having to go back to school tomorrow, but oh well. 
Luke Strasser says, nice hat. Appreciate you. Kyle just busting on you a little bit. Ha ha. He earned it. He needs that from time to time. I need a fucking cough drop or I'm going to start hacking. Send it. I got stuck chugging cough syrup. I can make video shorts. They only take like two hours to upload, so that's fine. The rest of it can do fuck all, so. We'll see. Frustrating when I can't hardly use my fucking uh, shop software. That's the part that's really pissing me off. YouTube is what it is, but Donald Mason's in. Toby, what is the next installment of 5J1113? I was in the middle of editing this afternoon and my laptop went up in smoke. Not sure what I'll do for videos for the next little bit, for fuck's sake. See? It always happens. <coughs> manuals for that tractor I heard came today. Of all places, they came from Florida. Original manuals, very good condition. Perfect! Members feed just got... Two in the last two days. There you go. What is the internet speed up y'all's way? Fucking slow. I couldn't even tell you. Unfortunately, couldn't move snow with the Farmall 350 diesel or the 1066. So I had to resort to the John Deere 83, 8630 and a 12-foot blade. Nearly two foot of snow is kicking my ass. Perfect. Fucking slow, eh? Yeah, it's fucking slow. Snail pace. Not just slow, fucking slow. But all the a lot of the people around me got um Starlink and they say it's good shit, so we're gonna find out. Most of them are downloading, not uploading, but they they do a lot of the Skyping or whatever the fucking video calling and shit through that so that seems like it works so try it rural internet can be summed up with one word shit yeah uh. need more thumbs up down says appreciate you Shannon says since you're here any chance senior would be interested in doing any videos of those snowmobiles of his This is the first live stream that hasn't made you look like a video game from 1984. Perfect. Officer Joey got Starlink. Says it's mint. I'm seriously looking into it. It's like 600 startup and $120 a month after that, but fucking fast. <coughs> yeah, I know what the costs are. I don't give a fuck about the cost, but it's goddamn well of work. It's that Northern Chill. Use Larson Farms for a discount. Order direct. Delivered. Perfect. I sip on my fucking cough medicine here. Fucking cough is back again. Good for a day. Not good for a fucking five, so. Scrody's in. I just drink a fucking bottle of Dayquil a day and about 700 cough drops, and I'm fine. Percent. She's mint. Used to be 500 to start and $100 a month. Well, inflation. Forgot to tell you about that, Rick, given how bad this year the year was for us. This year I bought my dad back his very first tractor he ever owned in 1963 and gave it to him for Christmas this year. No shit! That's awesome. Dalton's got someone pulling up. All right. 
It's really tough getting senior on a camera. It slows him down so much that he doesn't want to mess with it, unfortunately. Evan's making chili. Perfect. I, uh... I have no problem, but I want to fuck around with the goddamn camera and then not be able to upload anything, so I haven't shot shit for footage because I can't do anything with it, so why keep logging the shit? You need to hire an intern to follow Senior around with a camera. Problem is, minimum wage is $15 an hour. Fuck that. I'm not paying anybody that kind of money to fucking follow me around with a camera. Fuck them. <laughs> you get what you get. I'll strap the bra mount down and away you go. I'm fucking month or so. We'll see what happens. Unpaid intern there paid an experience. Huh. Yeah, I'll get some fucking experience. All right. You could hire Connor and pay him and tractor rides on a Super M. <laughs> the not so Super M? Well, my problem is I do stuff but forget to film because it's a pain in the ass. It is a pain in the ass to film, I will say that. It's, it's, no, well, it, it is and it isn't. I don't mind it if I can do something with it. I can't do anything other than fuck it. Now I can't leech off the fucking Ford Garage's internet. And now that my fucking internet here is not good, kind of in a bad way. Uh. Yeah, I found out on... I buy the tractor back. I looked on eBay and found the manuals for it. Service manuals, parts manual, and owner's manual. So I ordered them. And they showed up today from Florida. Perfect! My grandpa and your mom. John Deere A L C A. Then like to find them, but I don't have the serial number, so it's impossible. Well, fuck. As anyone who's done YouTube will tell you, getting the footage recorded is one thing, and then there's editing, uploading, answering comments, etc. That's right. Shan says I about pissed myself laughing when I heard Rick say that about the Super M. Scotchy is my age. You just wanted to get the job done. That is why I was such a bad teacher for our boys. What did Rick say about the Super M? Well, you got to go back and watch Squatch's videos to find that out. That was on Squatch's channel. He actually put it in there. Props to you. Luke says go watch all the Squatch videos. It's hard getting people to watch 45 minutes unless it's a really good topic. That's right. I appreciate and enjoy the videos Rick and Squatch provide. I don't know how y'all have the patience for it. Start with the ranger mowing down trees. The Super M just needs a bark hydraulic throttle. That's true. You need to take the Super off that thing because it's not that Super. And honestly, that was really good burn. It was one of the cleanest things I've ever said that you could put on a video. 38 thumbs up and counting. Appreciate you. <sighs> Iron Man says, Shannon, you're not watching Kyle or Connor or me. What the fuck? 
It was a hilarious comment, Luke says. Brian says, I forgot my cop, my like, I'll fix that. That was after Rick was lapping everyone with a super C at Plow Day. The context was everything. That's true. The hydraulic throttle was was beating pants. I've already seen the video about the ranger mowing over trees. I just going to go out in a whim and say that was a Rick driving 100 percent 41. I'll take an honest chug for that. Appreciate you. Both of two's videos. I've never been left behind by a C so fast. <laughs> I do a lot of interesting stuff, but I don't have the patience to film and edit. Logan said, Toby says, yes, that was actually my very first video. Justin says 42. I forgot to hit it. Appreciate you. Uh. Shannon says, Iron Man, I do watch some of yours and Kyle's videos. I do admit I have yet to watch Connor's videos. Well, he's not in here, so fuck it. Put a turbo in the Super C, then you can lap him with a three bottom. <laughs> It'll be like the fucking Super A all over again at Plow Day. The fucking Super A would pull the fuck out of that one bottom. I will say that. That one bottom mounted is pretty mint. That's going to get some use this year. New video is uploaded for the morning. Perfect. That might be pushing the little engine to its limits. I've seen a Turbo H pulling a round baler, but I don't think that's a very good idea. That A, once it was dialed in, was Cherry. She was, she was fucking burning up and down them hills. Nathan is going to bring the 60 to plow day and pull a big on land and put on some work. Put in some work. We're going to need a hell of a lot more ground to plow then. It's already been pushed beyond its limits. It'll be fine. <laughs> Driving that fucking Super C. Taking the fucking road trip up to Toby's place was just as much fucking fun as Plow Day, I gotta say. I can't afford to haul a 60 down there. Yeah, no shit. Did you have two Super A's, Rick? No, I just got the one, at least for now. Luke says we can go start, start to go fund me. Matthew says, are you going to be at Barkfest this year? We'd like to meet you. Squatch always says he's too good for Barkfest. We'll just go there. <laughs> I took Hayden up there. I'll just take everybody else up there, too. Iron Man says, let me get it running first, Luke. Yeah, no shit. No pressure, right? You'll burn as much... Fuel in the 60 plowing as you do to haul it there. That's absolutely true. After the year, years I spent three days by myself, the two bottom turning just three to four acres in a year, I never thought I'd see the day when 10 acres wasn't enough ground, right? Squatch needs some Budweiser's. Squatch probably hasn't had a beer for a while since probably Plow Day. 
That would be my guess. Shooting. You haven't had any since shooting day. Do you have one on shooting day? Oh, I think his connection is getting a little choppy. Was that me? Did I lose it? It didn't say anything on my end, but it probably is now. Who fucking knows? Toby, can you even see the plows on the field? Uh. The 60 will burn at least 15 gallons an hour working. Oh, fucking hell. I could be right there with you in the 756. Shit. You buffered for five seconds. Crazy to think at one time a Super C was a big tractor. You could farm 150 acres of two bottom plow and a two row equipment. Yep, he'll be due for another beer memorial weekend plow day. That's right. Boyd Bork best because I don't like being around people that much. And two, if I like being around drunk people even less. Sounds smart ass, but I'm telling the truth. I probably did that to him with a few of uh, the uh, company Christmas parties. Made Squatch Drive. Is the governor on the Super C still borked? Yep, 100%. Fuck's texting me now. I can still see the levers of Rick's two bottom, but that's about it. Wait, there's drunk people at Borkfest? I know. Toby drove to a few of, uh, a couple of holiday parties. So... So you don't want to be the token sober guy, Toby. <laughs> yeah. When they started scheduling the party at 6 o'clock, because they didn't think I could get that drunk before. Still with the Christmas party at 6 o'clock. When we get off work at 5. With no bar... Because you don't think I can get that drunk before the Christmas party. Boy, were they mistaken. I've never not been the sober guy. That's right. I was sober. I had to drive my brother home. That's right. Finally done plowing. Perfect. Kyle says that's going to make working on the rock crusher a bitch. Yeah, because he's going to be right on that. Justin says, I need a sober friend to drive me. What the fuck? Is that you assholes? Or no? Rex, how much snow you get up there? It's us assholes. All right. Just checking. Fucking acting like it sounds like a fucking emergency over there or something. Nathan and Connor. All right. Gotta go. See ya. Michael, I appreciate you. Tell Sally Joe. It says hi. Uh. Jesus fucking Christ. Those were me. I'm Steffi.
I was giving Connor shit for not being here. Four or six, but it was on top of at least two to three we got. The last two to three we got. Perfect. Who wants to be a sober guy? That's just silly. First one of the new year. Appreciate you. But I think you're late because somebody else played one earlier. So... Dalton did. He's sensitive. You'll have that. Congratulations, Nathan, on a year. Appreciate you, bud. I gotta get me a Budweiser. He's all the way over there in the fridge. Maybe next week I'll break out the board game again. Y'all want to play a board game again or no? Or do we need a different board game? Well, if we need a different board game, somebody's going to have to give me some fucking ideas. Ah, oh, yes, sir. It's the common denominator factor. I'm the only one who doesn't like drunk people and everyone else is drunk, so I'm the odd one out. Yes, it was sober, Toby. Well, there you go. The diabetes insists that I be the sober guy, although I do still have the occasional barley pot from time to time. I hear you. You could chug from NyQuil? I should probably chug some NyQuil. I don't know. What's that? All of it. <laughs> I have no idea for for a new one. Connor was sober. It's true. I can't pull off the pregnant excuse. You were fat once. <laughs> if Squatch goes to Barkfest, I'll come down and be a sober friend. There you go. For every three drunk people, there's at least one sober, so you can make that math work somehow. I don't know if that math works out at Borkfest, but. Rick's going to have triplets, though, by the looks of it. I'm not fat, I'm just big bone, festively plump. Fuck off. Because Luke is a whiny fucking bitch and I am in no mood for his shit tonight, so fuck right off. Luke, hi and bye all. Wow. He is fucking crabby tonight. Ha. Ah. Toby is in 2023 after anything is possible. Toby and Rick could reenact the movie Junior with Arnold and Danny DeVito with a Height difference is perfect. Wow. Cheers on the night quill to me. There you go. Get her done. Get the good shit. Night quill vapo cool. 10% alcohol, too, by the way. Don't want to lose the buzz. Shannon says, well, that escalated quickly. That's what Luke does. Like I said, Nathan, the math works somehow, but it's mostly drunk people counting, so it's not right. Things seem to escalate quickly. Somebody always gets their fucking feelings hurt. Pissed off about something. You can really tell Connor's been spending a lot of time around Bork. I saw a picture posted by the Ford dealer. Either Toby is very tall or Rick is very short. Fuck's sake. Today has been a day I was too drunk to realize it's Wednesday. Perfect. So is that a good day or a bad day? I don't know. It's up to you. 
Jack, what's going on, man? 27 and 44. Perfect. It's only 9 o'clock, too. God damn. Uh, you guys are still going at it over there? Fuck's sake. Wonder if that picture still, if that website's still open, seeing as how my login still works. Huh. Chad's in. Hello from the Upper Peninsula Snow Globe. Tell me about it. I don't even, I'm not even there. You guys need to keep that fucking snow shit over there where you guys fucking thrive on that fucking crap and keep it away from me. Connor's flipping me off. I can still remember the first words you said when you saw me and the first word you said when you saw, first saw Rick. I don't know why anybody thought I was fucking tall. Shit. Toby Rick has corrupted Connor. I didn't do shit. Ed's in. Ed, what's going on, man? Well, I'll talk to Mother Nature about limiting your snow and increasing mine when you bring the skitter here. Why do I need to bring the skitter there? He's a short little fucker. That is what you said. Connor could use a dresser wrench just to piss Luke off. That's true. You won't need it if you don't have snow. Rick's low and heavy. Holy shit, you're fucking tall. And holy shit, he's a short little fucker. Okay, we're only we're only like fucking four inches in difference in height, so. That says snow removal. I hear you. Luke says, Chad, you have a fucking road grader for snow removal. All right, Daily. Let's see what the hell the wind's beating the shit out of now. Oh, nothing. Just drifting like a motherfucker. I have to put some weather stripping in my fucking service door, though. The service door is leaking a little wind. As far as we know, we too many northeast winds, so I guess it probably doesn't matter for a day or two. Plus it is, well, it's, it's all the way down to 65 in here right now, but I just pulled that van in not that long ago. Changed it like five years ago. What? Must have been the hill. Looks good at point, Chad. Come change the oil in it. Logan says he's probably taller than me. He's only 15. Good for you. Most people are. Belton says I made it back. I wish that you fuckers would keep the snow to yourself. I don't need it. Jack says, look, that was the last time it was changed. 65 is perfect. Who what's with those cases of Bud Light next to you? Bud Light? What fuck are you talking about? That is uh, water. Some of us have responsibilities. Randy Olson's in. <coughs> Randy, what's going on tonight, man? Don't think it has 20 hours on it in five years. 15 years old are allowed in. This shit show of dumpster fire isn't age restricted. Not if you have an adult login. Might as well be Bud Light. That's true. Well, those are for my fucking 
That's because I have responsibilities. You know, water, Bud Light, same thing. Bud Light is sour water. That's true. Uh, I drink water before I drink Bud Light. I will say that. Like Rex said, water tastes better. Bud Light has a taste. Yeah, it's not a good one, though. Fuck, my email says I'm 23, and I'm, I've heard way worse than that. What can be said in here? There you go. Light beer, what a joke. I can't do light beer. Oh. Oh, well, I did drink one down at Randy's place. He didn't have any heavy beer, so I had to drink a light beer. And then I went to root beer. <laughs> Randy, your uh, side by side is up in the garage, in the warm garage. Because I opened the garage and there was a spot for it, so that's where I parked it. <laughs> If they don't like it in there, somebody else can put it somewhere else. That's what I figured. I go for rip beer over light beer, too. That's right. How much must be paid to get you to drink Bud Light? 100 bucks. It's got to be a 100 bucks piece. I don't even have one, so. I'm going to be all out. Good night, everyone. Do I have a light beer? I don't think I even have a light beer in there. <sighs> I'm going to have a. Well, this one's even worse. Blake's Michelob Ultra. Look at that. I got a wine and Kugel's light beer. This is one of Randy's fucking beers from... It's expired in September. Of last year. That's a hundred dollars. But nature is fucking terrible. Beware of the Dodge journey. I get to put in a heater car. Perfect. Wisconsin P right there. Heck yeah, Ultra. Oh no, put it back. Brewed with pride by the Lightning Kugel family. Six generations of family ruined to traditions. That doesn't mean they know what the fuck they're doing. That's leftover from Borkfest. I would be drinking rip beers, but I drank the last can earlier. Well, for fuck's sake, Logan. Dodge heater cores are fun. Heater cores and nothing are fun anymore. And I mean nothing. If I ever come up that way, I'll have to bring you some local beer brewed. Here, Stillwater has a nice brewery. Perfect. That liney light isn't terrible. Yeah, I know you drank it. They funnel the urinals right into the cans. <laughs> Drinking natural ice tonight. It's tolerable. Oh, God, natural ice. Ugh. Ah, fuck. I'm doing this shortcut I found on YouTube. Just fucking get the saws all out. Ever had to put one in a 97 to 06 Jeep? Yes. Suppose Dr. Pepper would be okay for right now. Well, there you go. Easiest thing I've ever put a heater car in is a fucking Ford Taurus. And I'll tell you, the old body style, not the new body style, but they're, they're the fucking... Once you cut the dash, you're good to go. Catch you next time, Rick. Everyone take care. Justin, I appreciate you, buddy. Natural ice, isn't that for high school kids? My dad says Spotted Cow fucking sucks. 
I have not had anything good from Spotted Cow. Spotted Cow is delicious. Doing that is a good way to get suicidal if you're not. Pretty sure the first time I got drunk at 16 was natural ice. Spotted Cow, I've I've had their porter or whatever the fuck. I wasn't really that impressed. Did it one on an 84 Ford Tempo? Yeah, I'm dating myself. Wasn't terrible. I had a couple of tempos. I had two of them. You cut the line in the driver's side and slide it out, and you cut your new heater core lines to match what's left. Insert rubber hoses. Perfect. Don't tell people in Wisconsin that spotted cow sucks. They'll stab you. So Chad got all offended because he was he's a northern Wisconsinite. It's not even part of Michigan. Adam Ruloff. Adam, what's going on, man? Spotted Cow is a favor made to by New Year's Brewing. Today was a shit show down here in central Wisconsin. Got into some ice hole mint. Doing much better now. What the fuck? Old Milwaukee is best at 16. Worst ever. Worst idea ever. Used to think the tempos were bad. Then we got the contours. Yeah, no shit. It only got worse from there. Spotted cow from New Gallus is nothing special. Don't know why people go ape shit over it. There's way better beer. Cody makes way better beer. Had an 86 Escort. EXP back in the day. I had an 89 X Court. There's many stories we could tell you. Toby and I could tell you about the fucking 89 X Court. Like all of them. First drunk as a kid was from beer. My last drunk was from 99 Vomit. <laughs> ah. Okay, that's funny as fuck. I don't care who you are. My favorite beer is Cutthroat Pale Ale. That shit's pricey. Don't ever associate me with the Cheesehead State. Chad, you're a fucking Green Bay Fudge Packer fan. You associate yourself with Cheeseheads, you fuck. <laughs> My favorite beer is free. There you go. My first car was a 72 Pinto. Paid 100 bucks for it. And money I made over the summer of 87. I upgraded the tempo a couple of years later. Perfect. First car was a 70, 78 Ford Granada station wagon. I had an escort. She had the power. I enjoy Michelob Amber Bach. If I'm a buy, if I'm buying the beer, yuck. There was supposedly a kid at, that got drunk at the local f at the football game and he got expelled. I'm sure there was. I don't think Spotted Cow is anything to write home about. I'd rather have Coconut Brown. Coconut Brown's fucking delicious. Still remember contours coming in that hadn't been to a dealer in a few years. Could have put eight open recalls on them at one time. Yelp. <laughs> All the fucking recalls. <laughs> God, it's fucking contours and the fucking arrow stars and holy fuck. I would take a V6 all wheel drive tempo over a contour. How about a diesel tempo all wheel drive? Come on. Are the transaxles in the contour as shit as everyone said they were? Yes. 100%. Ask Toby. He'll tell you. First vehicles in 97 Wrangler with a 2.5. Still have it. God, that bitch took one hell of a beating in high school. I bet. Chad loves Aero Stars. Wow. SVT, SVT contour, too. They made a diesel tempo? Yep. They made a diesel all-wheel drive tempo. 87 Monte Carlo was my first road car. 
Last of the full size. Shit, don't get me started on the Arrow Stars and the people that own them wanted to keep them forever. Yes. They would not let those fuckers go. And the Ford Garage would not stop working on the bastards. First car was a 69 F250. That body style of Monte Carlo is my all-time favorite. The 80s G-Body. Is that G-Body? I think it was G-Body. Yeah. Still deciding what my first road legal vehicle will be. I found a cheap 73 IDI 250. But it was only two-wheel drive. Ever drive a six-shift Aerostar? Who the fuck had one? Somebody had one. But yes. Oh, we're calling out our first vehicles. Are we? 88 F-150 extended cab two-wheel drive 302 auto. Perfect. Sounds like the diesel Chevy Chevette. Didn't have enough power to pull itself up a hill. There was a time at the front yoke on the rear axle and I tweaked the drive shaft for a few weeks. Perfect. I thought the Aero Stars were kind of cool in a quirky sort of way. They were never cool, but Fortunately, mine had the ugly LX front end on it. Remember, Ed Berlin used those all-wheel drive Aerostars for farm service trucks. Towed three hay racks, racks loaded, plus 500 pounds of tools and 60 gallons of diesel in the back. Yep. Squatch says, yes, I had to put a clutch in a five-speed Aerostar once. Threw a manual Aerostar when I was in the Navy. It was the ship's duty vehicle. Went and looked at the Explorer I talked to you and Luke about. Purchase made. Perfect. 77 Chevy Nova. Happy fucking New Year. Perfect. That was really turning into a Ford guy. I know. They're starting to outnumber Chevys quickly. I mean, his Isuzu's. Never drove it until grade 12. Spent every cent I earned rebuilding a 302 in shot class in high school. And sold it after grad. Fucking dumbass. Say, say what you get. Spot of cow headaches in a bottle is only takes one or two. When the bud runs out, I'm working on some good old Potosi. Potosi? Can't afford anything but garbage. Hey. Did this to yourself. Cal's Ford's outnumber the next closest brand, I think. Yes, I do. Stop buying cats then, Kyle. Wow. Still remember the one time I saw an Aerostar in Nebraska that somebody had done a custom job on, cut the rope and sides up behind the front doors like an El Camino. I was like, what the fuck? You sent me a picture of that. Because that was not that many years ago. You bought an Explorer since you just bought it. Don't let Tessa take the keys in the bathroom. Wow. My first car was a 59 Dodge pickup. Is the reception cutting in and out of anyone else, or is it just me because it's raining like a bitch here? Just you, Andy. Wrong, Luke. I have Pontiacs. And Chad has an engine for that Explorer. Just a few times, Andy, for me so far. The El Camino Hunter Star needs to be recreated. That's badass. Well, there's nothing badass about an Arrow Star. If you have not worked on one, you could probably think it's okay, but there's nothing. No. No. It's like a fucking Ford Probe. There is nothing ever cool about them. One of my favorite vehicles was the 96 Ford Explorer Sport with a five speed. Missed that thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Reception fine here in Minnesota, Grumpy. Perfect. That engine left tonight. Oh, never mind. There's an 
underground mine up here that converted a ton of air stars into trucks. What? What the fuck are they using those for? That Chaz was an OHC. All right, never mind. Doesn't Aerostar have the same underpinning as a Ranger? No. This is a 96 with a five speed. Not for the world where the vehicle is only like a farm vehicle. They get shit beat out of it. Isn't the Ford Aerostar that shitty Ford minivan with from the 90s? I seriously like the two-wheel drive five-speed four-banger Rangers. I used to have the, we're shit in the winter, but good mileage and perfect for short trips in the summer. Oh, come on. That's not true because that fucking 90 Ranger that I had, four, four-banger four five-speed, and we could do 70 miles an hour in six inches of snow, and you fucking know it because you were in the passenger seat. I had to change an alternator and a Ford Pro. Fuck those cars. That's right. My Jeep is waiting on a motor. Number one rod and pistoner are just kind of dangling in there. Believe it or not, drove home three miles on three cylinders, parked itself where it sits at my mom and dad's. Perfect. Good night, all. I have to have cow shit in my beard going to shower. Matthew, I appreciate you. They don't anymore, but it was just hauling it until the shit. And the shit back and forth from the mining face to the head frame and stuff. Side by sides weren't a thing then. Thing yet. Fuck's sake. Well, I mean, fuck, it was the Ranger pickups were the fucking way better alternative than fucking Arrow Stars. God damn. Tempo, Contour Pro, Villager, Aspire. All fucking Ford nightmares, although Ford didn't even build most of them. That's true. I'm going to throw the Fiesta in there. Probably should throw the Fiesta in there, too. Just saying. Remember that one I tried to fucking... in vain to get the fucking... Axle shaft out of the stub shaft out of broke fucking transmission. No one said that mine's ever so so smart things. Well, do smart things. Yeah, I yeah I get you. Don't forget about the Ford Festiva. That's right. I'm out later. I'll Kyle get the fuck out of here. I'm sensing a little hostility toward those gems, Toby. I will say there was a fucking era where Toby, basically all the fucking Toby did was fucking, well, it was a wishy-washy fucking period because Six liters are starting to break down, but Toby is working on fucking seven three glow plugs, and fucking E four OD transmissions, and all I did was fucking five four head gaskets, and fucking we we just fucking ruled the world then, but or the Bronco too. Trust me, the auto repair industry bought out the worst in me. Rick and verify a hundred percent. There was an era where Ford sucked. There was an air where Ford sucked. It's about 1910. <laughs> That's funny. I can laugh at that. Chevy just got started later. They didn't suck as long. That's all, right? Uh. Most square companies in the 80s went to shit. Best truck I had was an 84 F-250 4x4 four-speed 6.9 IDI. 92 Chevy 2500 with a NV 4500 5-speed and a 350 01 Dodge Ram 3500 5.9 Cummins 4x4 and a 6-speed. Damn. 
in that order or no? Mustang 2 is named after number two. I hate to hear that for both you, both of you, Toby. Glad you two are moved on to better things. I still remember the 542 valve head gasket jobs you banged out in like four hours. Start to finish, though, the next... Then the next one, you'd almost beat the time again, but lost your saga down the exhaust. Yep. Lost my fucking socket in the fucking down. And I couldn't get that bastard back, pulled the end off my magnet with the fucking socket on it. But it never took out the cat, so. And that was on a fucking uh, Frontier truck that we serviced for 200,000 miles after that, so. It must have stuck that motherfucker out of the way of the cat and never had a problem. I could fucking... God, I did so many 542 bells. So many of those bastards. Then get a reman head for the bastard and the fucking thing was all fucked up from the beginning. Because they drug it across the fucking machining deck when they took the son of a bitch off. Every cylinder was fucking nicked in between them. Snap-on does not warranty a lot of sockets, and I bought all my shit from Matco. I still don't buy shit from Snap-on. Toby, can to this day, the Snap-on guy is a fucking dickhead. We've we never had a good Snap-on guy. Not fucking ever. Drew's in! I lost a spray straw into the oil pan. Thanks for the welding job. Appreciate you. Hell yeah. Yeah, you lose that into the fucking oil pan. It won't matter. Pickup will never pick it up anyway. The screen will hold it out of the way. 84 F250 with diesel. You convert it to a dually and put a flatbed on it. It's supposedly hauled a lot of scrap metal with that truck. Perfect. Actually, I actually started to like the Fusion Passenger Airbag recalls, though. Could rip a dash out, change bags, put it back in in two hours max. And they paid like nine hours. The only problem was, if it had auto start, then you were really pissy. When you have a good tool guy, that's where you go end up going and sticking. Well, yeah, we had a lot of bad fucking staff on guys right from the fucking get go. And if they weren't a fucking good tool guy, they fucking knew it. Yeah, wish I could make the new. I'm new again. Crazy dog is trying to eat a caster wheel. That Jeff Gondak must have been your snap-on guy. He's a pain in the ass. I had Gondak, too. Remember Eric Fields? He was the only good snap-on guy. Then he, we got Lad Siegfried, and Rick made him cry. So Eric wasn't Eric wasn't bad. But I had no problems with Eric. We never had Gondak just outside of his territory. You heard good things about him, though. I had Gondak when I worked at Sturgeon Lake and Moose Lake. And we did for a little bit because, yeah, Jeff Gondak's a pain in the fucking dick, too. But Lad was, well, I made Lad cry. Then the other guy, I don't know who the fuck he was. And then we got Jay Zippel. Jay Zippel isn't worth a fuck unless you owe him money. You buy something, you gotta, you better pay him $10 a week or he's not coming back. That's sad. The snap-on guy I have is 78 and is absolutely amazing. My brother works for a semi-service place, and some of the shit he's seen in brand new trucks is ridiculous. The snap-on guy we had when I was wrenching full. What? Time was mint. And Rick made him cry, and it wasn't even my his wrench. And it was Toby's fucking wrench. Gun deck is good if you're buying constantly, but if you're not a steady customer, good luck. Exactly. Exactly. If you already own your shit, Jay Zippel doesn't want a fucking thing to do with you. If you want something warranty, good fucking luck.
Best tool guy ever was Jerry LeBrasher. Mac Tools, rip, buddy. Fucking right he was. Jerry LeBrasher was good. Who was the other guy? Before Barry. There was a guy in between Jerry and Barry that I almost got in a fist fight with. I don't know why I got to be a smart ass to the tool guys, but you got to figure out what their fucking story is. Cody wants a crying story. For the one page for snap on, tool rep should give you a courtesy hand job every time you drop by. That's right. You weren't to your pry bar? No. Because I keep forgetting to take it in. Not their fault. Sean, probably. I don't know. The f it, it was. It, maybe it was. What the fuck? It was. No, because think up by you, the. The Mac guy is different. Uh, Sean is, uh, he owns the route, right? Because I got his, his kid is running down here now. Um, fuck's his kid's name. Can't think of his kid's name. Anyway. Have any Cornwell? No, there's no Cornwell stuff here. I think the furthest north they go is like Forest Lake or Pine City or some shit. I don't think there's even a northern territory for Cornwell. Rex, correct me if I'm wrong, but. Sean owns the. Jack says my Cornwell dealer absolutely blows. Sean owns it. I can't remember his kid's name either. Fuck. But his kid's running the route. I got, I'll got. i give him credit. I, I fry the kid's ass every time. But I had a 10 million wrench I need warranty. Waited six weeks because Snap-on guy couldn't afford to put more wrenches on the truck. But I always had 10 $600 impact wrenches on the truck. Rick seems to like picking fights with tool guys. His name was Blaine Millions. How fitting... For a snap on guy, that's funny. We have a random Cornwell guy that shows up once in a while. Yeah, Rex says no Cornwell dealers around here. See so yeah, that down by Cody, there's gonna be somebody, but like you said, it's random. There's nothing up here. I have some Cornwell impacts for Osaka. They're tr they've treated me well. God damn it, I can't think of his name. He's a good kid. He's 19, works hard. He's taking every bit of shit that I've given him fucking. Best internet meme ever was title, what a real rape van looks like with a picture of a snap-on truck. Snap-on a Mac rule, they're a roost of the cities. A few Mac co. So Toby goes and uh, tries to warranty this wrench. It takes fucking ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And he keeps asking and asking and asking. And I don't know why. So fucking lad, lad, lad would always fucking piss me off for some goddamn reason. And I fucking, Toby asked him, hey man, you got my 10 millimeter. Toby is being way more than fucking patient about a 10 millimeter wrench that he needed warranty. So. Toby goes and asks him that week, and he goes, uh, hey, man, did you get my wrench? No, oh, you know, and then the fucking idiot proceeds to tell us how he doesn't have any allotment on his, he doesn't have any more credit on the on his account. He can't get a 10 million dollar wrench, and, uh, but he's got all, because he blew it all on all these fucking impacts that he'll sell you today. So I fucking, I unfucking loaded on him. And I told him, I said, if you fix, if I fix fucking cars like you sold fucking tools, I'd have been on a job months ago. And I, mean, I added a little bit on top of that. But then he fucking started crying and bawling and fucking everybody fucking bailed off the truck. And I stood there and looked at him. I got everybody free jackets, though. I don't know if fuck I got free jackets, but. Rick loved the lazy eye. Holy fuck. 
You didn't know who the fuck he was looking at either. When you talked to him, you just did this. I did that too, because I didn't know who the If you're trying to negotiate with the guy, I don't know. Am I getting a discount in this eye or this eye? Because they were way the fuck apart too. You can have one that kind of looks this street ahead and then the other one kind of wanders. No, fuck, no, they were. They was fucking over here. Fuck's sake. Everyone needs a 10 millimeter. That's right. My neighbor's growing and had a snap on van. I couldn't. Then it still can't afford anything on the truck. That's right, Joe. Joe, what's going on, man? Look at me, I. Crooked bastard. <laughs> and he's driving a truck around. I know it. Fuck's sake. And then he sold fucking... He sold used tools. And traded in stuff that... That was a separate fucking deal. Uh, yeah, I bought some shit. I'm not gonna lie. Because that you had to pay cash and fucking whatever. And then I just... Beat the ever living dog shit out of them on the price, but I was like, I'll call Snap on tomorrow because you know you ain't supposed to be doing this. Oh, I'll give it to you for three bucks. Three bucks. It's their fucking truck, you idiot. We had a parts guy like that. He was known as well. I oh my god. Or Wally. Whatever you want to call them, but holy fuck. I bought some real dandy U snap on trade in tools cash. At least you can channel your rage to something useful. Oh fuck, I gotta get, I gotta get the battery charger. Hang on. Somebody didn't get, somebody didn't plug in the. Uh... Rick, why didn't you plug in the fucking computer? When you started the fucking live stream, for fuck's sake. Then you just trashed the fucking entire toolbox trying to get the fucking battery charger. Hold on. It's all flashing at me and shit. Hang on. We'll save it. I swear to God, we'll save it. Are we charging or no? We might be charging. Sitting on. I don't know if we're charging or no. Oh, hang on. We're not charging. Yeah, I have to deal with some lights for a second. Hey! Now we're charging. I got to turn on that metal roll of lights. Well, it's just that one. That's not that bad. No, honestly, the snap-on guy was only doing it because he thought it would be fun. He sold his dad's auto body shop business, then became a tool guy for something to do. <laughs> he thought it would be fun, then he met Rick. That's true. Happy New Year, Rick. Just hoping the power doesn't go out and getting the uh, blow and a big tree fell over up the road. Took out the power and the phone lines. Well, fuck. Some people can't sell can sell tools, some can't. Definitely dealt with a few who can't, couldn't. I've, uh... If, if you have a button, and I'm working with you or dealing with you, and you have a button, I'm going to push it. That's just fact. If I know you on a daily and regular basis and I can find the button to push, I'm going to push it. And I'm going to push it until it doesn't work anymore. Wayne the Macco guy was good. Rick, you remember Zach trying to get a get him to sell him the stupid Honda with the wing on it for him? That's another story. Oh, fuck. So, our, our Macco guy, Wayne Johnson, local live right, right fucking right across the interstate. Eight miles away from the fucking Ford garage. If you need something, you call in a favor and he'd fucking, he'd deliver it. 
And then you will find a new button. That's right. So he had a little fucking display in his truck. And if you're trying to sell you like your toolbox or you need, he would, he would help the feller out, take a photo, whatever. This is fucking before, you know, Craigslist and marketplace and all that shit were a big deal. Take a little photo, put a little description in there or postcard or whatever and fucking, you know, he'd drive around. People could look at that shit. But it was all tool related. So then fucking Zach gets the idea that he wants to sell his fucking Honda fucking Civic or whatever the fuck it was with a goddamn giant ass wing on the back of it. And he wants to sell it on the fucking tool truck. And I, you know, I got to give Wayne fucking credit because he tried so hard to tell the kid nicely. No. Holy shit. Never even let me find your button, ever. The more you flip out, the more I'm going to push it until you break or get over it. Fact, right? <laughs> Iron Man says, like, Celsius versus Fahrenheit, Luke. <laughs> Matt Cowain was good. He was my ex-co-worker's uncle. No shit. Sounds like life in the military. If you showed a chink in your armor, we'd pick on you from now to forever. That's right. And we were fucking... I, I shouldn't say we. I'm going to say we. Because Toby was no fucking saint. As much as some people might think so, so on the fucking internet. You work with Toby in a fucking automotive industry... He wasn't any fucking different than I am. And if you had a fucking button, he was going to push that motherfucker until it broke. Or you broke. When the button doesn't work no more, we're going to find a different button to push. Ford Stories, Zach's with the hipster suspender pants trying to get out of his car like a dog that finds the end of his chain. Okay, hang on. I got to take, take a leak and I'll come back and tell it. Guilty on all counts. Because <laughs> as much as people think that I'm a dickhead and I did shit at the Ford garage, Toby did every bit of those things with me and then some. Most of the shit was his idea. I just executed it. So the uh, Ford story that fucking Toby's referring to is Zach that worked there. I always had this goddamn hipster fucking zipper pants, fucking suspenders and all that fucking baggy shit going on. And it was when we parked out on the street. And he, he was in school for fucking five extra years. Figure that out. Um, pull up. And he'd always... It was always the dramatic door open. And then you'd see the foot come out, stand up all cool, and I'm going to head for the dealership. Well, his fucking suspenders got caught on the seatbelt, and he hit the end of those bastards, and it fucking sucked him right back into the fucking car like fucking dog hitting the end of a fucking leash with elastic on it. Toby was the brains. I think we came up with some pretty good shit together. There was some, uh, there was just times where there was shit Toby would dream up and he didn't have the balls to do it. Let's be honest. He was a little afraid to get fired. I was trying to get fired. It's currently people in the friend circle who would not have made it in the Ford prison. Oh, yes. We had to watch a senior class take 40 minutes to put one piston in a farm LM engine. Drove me nuts. This Zach Feller, what did he do at the Ford prison? 
He washed cars. He was the detail guy. Definitely a team effort, especially with the Super Bowls. I'm not it's squats. Okay, I don't I don't know how we progress to Super Bowls, but Parts runner kid at work was mad at me today for putting a Culver sticker on the bumper of the shop truck for a second time, but put packing tape over it this time to make it harder to take off. Perfect. The time Zach had rep for butt written on the back of his car. I don't remember who did that. That, that was absolutely fucking you. He's going to, so Zach always had to go fucking Western Minnesota to go deer hunting opening weekend. And you always got the salt spray on the back of your fucking vehicle. So Toby goes back there and fucking writes, I rep for butt in the back fucking back of the vehicle. Or the time he had a flat tire going out there and then and we never let the fucking air out of that son of a bitch, but he had a flat tire. Well, friends, I'm out. Have a great evening. Rick, Toby, good luck with all the snow. Appreciate you, Nathan. Well, it takes the right person to be the Debron, fuck I. <laughs> Toby knows how hard I tried to actually get fired. <laughs> I should have been. I fucking should have been. The only difference was I didn't. I didn't do it at a customer's expense. I just did it at everyone else's expense. Everyone. Fucking all of them. I drew stitches on a guy said a truck nuts. He was pissed. That's funny. Acetylene bombs. We did acetylene bombs just one time though. You put the paper clips on three old punch on the air vents of anyone's car that was not looked. Lock perfect. Oh yeah, I, I we did that shit. Time somebody let the air on his ass car just before he was ready to leave. I don't remember who did it either, but it happened a second time. But for real, yeah, the second time his tire was actually fucking flat. In, the, in in hindsight, the shit that we did to fucking break up the monotony and the hellishness of that place that we don't have to do now, if we weren't able to do that, we would have been in a fucking asylum. The time that Rick drilled out Zach's toolbox lock, because I went to the fucking, I, I took a broken off drill bit and stuck in the fucking lock. And then went to the brake, uh, to the uh, brake lathe and got filings. Got millings off the fucking brake lathe and sprinkled them around the lock. He was, but the key still works. So I, you know, you got to do shit like that to stay sane these days. 100% the dirtiest trick you ever did to a guy that was the absolute asshole. Drilled a hole in a. Treated a grease nipple into his toolbox and let the air greaser do go till grease was pouring out every, from every drawer. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. That'll, uh, that'll work. Cool Brock Springs are another fucking whole nother thing. It's like the time I swapped the top two drawers on your fucking service cart, Squatch. And you didn't even know until I swapped them back like a fucking year later. He never fucked with any of us again. I'm sure he's still cleaning grease out of that thing. It's kind of hard to mess with your boss when you're self-employed. 
That's true. But I messed with my boss plenty when I worked for Fort Grudge. Plenty. Put two firecrackers in a 10 minute fuse behind the fire truck, and they got the hell out of there. Buddy of mine stuck a pink rubber dildo in the front bumper of the garbage truck. I used to work at Waste Management. Driver stopped for coffee that a.m. We got an ass chewing. You swapped him back a year later. How many tubes did that take? You got the third again. That was after they broke me for good. Too burned out to care where my tool drawers were. In. My two lieutenant wanted me to play fuck fuck games and keep us on the ship for no reason. Once I greased his windshield with silicone grease for his troubles. There you go. Toby went out of fucking hell. When I started at the Ford Garage, Toby was the most fucking anal and fucking anal retentive, over fucking sensitive son of a bitch you've ever met. God damn it, you flip his fucking screwdriver handles upside down. And I could get Phil Valetsko to do it all fucking long. And it wasn't even my fault then, so fuck it. Hey, Rick would take a break with himself by himself in the shop, so I'd go spray liquid ass on his car, on his chair, right before a break. He'd be a different spot every time. Never figured it out. Some guys at the railroad had these toolboxes with literally two rectangle boxes with crude lids on them. You had one of them. On them, you were a duck. We bounced the shit out of them. There you go. <laughs> Naval officers are the worst, Shannon. Remember the door lock actuator advice incident? Oh my god. That was what, that that is the entire thing that set my fucking, that is what set the fucking the basis for the reason Randy and I didn't get along for 18 fucking years of me working at the Ford garage. Randy and I went to high school together. We didn't get along then, but whatever. Bygones are bygones. So this was 2004 and 99 and up super duties. We were putting door lock actuators in these motherfuckers every fucking day. Every day. I had figured out a shortcut. And I was slamming these bitches in like a motherfucker. Man, I don't know. I don't know. Fucking, hey, man, I'll give you a little advice. Mirror and a pick tool and you pop these motherfuckers out without ever taking the fucking lock fucking assembly, the latch assembly, any of that shit apart. Pick tool, boom, and away you go. So I, I give him this piece of advice. I go pull the vehicle out, fucking test drive, whatever. He goes to Toby and flip, flips the flying fuck out because I'm a fucking asshole and this, that, and the other thing. I think I know better than everybody. Dude, I, I'm just trying to show you a fucking... Okay. So then, granted, every, everybody's new to everybody or some shit. I don't know. I come back. Randy fucking leaves. Toby comes over to me and goes, what the fuck is going on? And I was like, I don't know. Here's what I did. So fuck them. I don't care. But from here forward, he has a button. So for 18 fucking years after that, I just pushed the button. Every fucking day. All of them. Shannon wants to know what branch you're in. Luke is in. Well, the guy tool to his workbench before I work. He pissed me off. There you go. Remember when they... They hired Jaco. Randy was 100% sure that they were gonna. he was going to hate Rick. Well, it took Jaco about two weeks. He hated Randy. I think they both hate me at this point. But... It all comes full circle. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different story. Well, they, they were looking at hiring Jake, and uh, Randy was 100% sure that uh, I would I would break into Jake, and we would never get along. But seven years, we we did all right. Uh, 
Now that you want to be uh, Machinist First Mate, Class Submarine, then Naval Flight Officer P3C and P8A. Look at that fancy shit. Oh shit, gluing the quarters to the sidewalk with a Windstar Explorer. It was the Explorer rear glass blue, by the way. Rear axle stuff. Good times watching people to pry those up. That's right. Tried my captain's boot laces together when he was sleeping. I announced we had to run the, to the PA. Wow. That was the Explorer rear glass. Remember those ones that blew up? I'm going to put this back. Nobody's paying me to drink tonight. One more beer and get the fuck out of here. I got shit to do. Camaro's long day and... Higher Controlman Chief, myself, Luke. First ship was a beat to hell nuke cruiser. I learned a lot about my trade on that ship. There you go. Adam says, shit, I need a laugh. Glad I'm wandered in. Well, that just explains everything. Luke submariners are all fucking loony. That's awesome, Chief. I was in Long Beach. Oh, my God. So, about the pipe wrench, the bumper all blue, that would really piss off a lot of people and be funny as hell. Oh, I got way better shit I could do than that. I'd actually have to drive old blue once in a while. Probably should. Old blue ain't been fucking driven since... Uh, we did the ditching work on the driveway before winter, so a couple, two, three months. Pipe wrenches are useful. Well, the crusher wrench to it, I would never do that. Although I have some fucking... I got one for you, Luke, since you're still here. It's still 10 o'clock and you haven't chimed out yet, so I got one for you. If I can find it. Hold on. Yeah, I might not know where the fuck it is. Stand by. Hold on. I don't know where it is. I lost it. I'll find it. Uh -oh. But. Good night. I sadly have to go to this cool prison tomorrow. Shop teacher. I appreciate you, bud. I'll find that motherfucker. I'll make you a video. Used to see a truck on the road once in a while. at an old school guest. Station coffee mug glued on the roof. Perfect. I see pictures where guys weld them on and say, look, they're, they're about to fall off. 100%. You ever see the one where the guy's got the chain welded? And it's like that far off fucking road, so it's just dangling. Looks like it's dangling. That one's pretty cool. I ain't got fucking fuck all time for that shit, but well, company I work for hires a lot of vets. I work with a bubblehead on occasion. Great guy. 
Perfect. I don't have too much problem with tailgating around here anyway, so the chances are nobody's going to get close enough to see that the pipe wrench is welded to my bumper anyway. I don't go fuck all anywhere, so seeing people weld pipe wrenches on the bottom of the receiver and use it as a step. Luke says, only 15 months to go until they pay me forever. And then what's the plan, Luke? Sign up for a few more? Fuck yeah, you might as well just get a few more out of them. Shit, raise the percentage. Otherwise, you're going to have to do something stupid like me and be fucking self-employed. I wouldn't recommend it. Saying. Or you're going to have to go work for somebody. I wouldn't recommend that either. <laughs> Seems like it's all stupid at this point. Fucking that's bad choices all the way around. Outstanding loop. The blue ID card club is an awesome place to be. There you go. You can get all of the LS swaps in 15 months. There you go. As long as they keep paying me and I'm having fun, I'll keep having fun. Good plan. Seeing how Kyle skipped out early, we probably told too many Ford stories. He's going to have to rewatch the whole thing tomorrow. I haven't got my favorite one yet. What's your favorite one, Squatch? I want to hear the favorite one. I want to hear the favorite Ford story. Because I don't know if I have a favorite Ford story. Run for Congress. Well, the favorite one that you think of tonight, because I'm pretty sure there's probably another one. But Kyle has to do his honey-do list. Poor bastard. Run for Congress. You have to not work for two years, and they pay you forever with health care. That's right. That was my motto, Luke. Diabetes made me ineligible for sea duty. That's why I had to retire. Gotcha. The mole. Oh, my God. Holy fucking shit. How much? I Okay. Probably. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know how much how much we can fucking tell that story on a live stream. Because. Probably going to have to be a power day story to have too many details. Yeah, there's way too many fucking details there. Holy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> there wasn't at the time, but in hindsight, there's way too many details. Dude, you're not going to hurt any feelings with this crew. There's no hurt feelings to hurt. It's just so many fucking details. It's just the story is way too fucking elaborate. What's the statute of limitations on the mole? It took like four months to play out, and I didn't even know I was doing it, but got full credit. That's right. <laughs> and this is why we always said you can't make this shit up, because you cannot make this shit up. Hurting feelings is different than self-incrimination. Alex is in. Kyle's back. Holy shit. Eh, oh my god. Fucking Kyle's back where your ears burn and squash says. Yeah, the mole story is definitely a plow day story. That has to be a plow day story because it's going to take two to tell it. And 
a lot. It's going to take a hot minute. Tessa must have fallen asleep. Kyle snuck out. Man, the shit they were talking about you, Kyle. I tried to stop him, Shannon says. Kyle says I had to put the wife and daughter to bed. Damn. Good thing you made her back. It's only 10 o'clock. Shit. Uh, I might have a beer for that. Oh, my God. I can see why that's your favorite story, Squatch. You remember the... uh, You remember when you started running? You you remember this story. You got to remember this story. When you started running and you decided you were going to get in shape. And I, I just fucking I just turned it into what it was going to be. <laughs> that motherfucker had everything. Just a look on his fucking face. <laughs> Kyle says it's nothing that hasn't been said before. Oh, shit, yeah, because I had a girlfriend, LOL. So, I'll I'll tell this fucking story. So, Toby just reaches a point where he's like, hey, I'm a fucking, I'm going to do something different. All right, perfect. Get her done. All right, so, Toby and I have conversation every fucking day about when we were working. Well, not so much anymore, but every couple of days, whatever. About shit, you know. We used to work, work together, so. But everybody else, all of a sudden, Toby's slimming down. Toby's looking a little bit different. Holy fucking shit. Then, you know, things start running wild. And then he's, I, I just plant a seed. I'd be like, I think he's going south when he leaves here. I mean, shit, I don't know. So, you know, and you just, you just fucking plant a seed in somebody's mind and they see shit that they've never fucking seen. You just, you, you let them think that they've seen this shit. They have no idea. They've never fucking witnessed it. They've never fucking actually seen it. But all of a sudden, they, it, it just manifests. It's just fucking amazing how fast this turns into, oh, holy shit. Toby's driving south every night. He's not even going north to home. He's got a fucking girlfriend. He's just fucking, rah, you know. It was fucking amazing. All I had to do was turn left when leaving one day. Instead of the usual right, that shit got real, lol. So, literally, the parking lot at work, turn left, or turn right, to go out of the parking lot and then go north. If you turn left, you go around the block and then go north. So I get one fucking day, I get Randy to watch out the window and I told Toby to take a left. That was, that sealed the fucking deal. That's all it took. I was like, hey, watch. Because I had told Toby before. I said, when you leave today, take a left. So I told Randy. I said, when he watch it, when he leaves, you watch it. That's it. That's all I said. You take a left and you watch when he leaves. Holy fuck. Now, once the ball got rolling, I showed up in the street clothes instead of my work uniform just to stir the pot. Ha uh-huh. ha. One morning only. That was true. Holy fuck. Luke says, fuck, that's funny. It was, you know, it it was so funny, but it was so easy. You you know, in hindsight, 
it, we didn't even have to fucking work for this shit. It was just, it was so fucking, you were working, we were working with fucking idiots. It was easy. Yeah. Wow, I'm at a loss. This is so funny. I can't, you can't make it up. But what's the big deal about Toby having a girlfriend just because everyone was nosy about it? Well, Randy was all like, he's had a lot more pep in his step, and I, lately I knew it, and I wasn't doing any fucking thing different than had for the last 15 years, LOL. Not to be confused with Randy with an eye, because he, he's sensitive, that's true. Well, I don't give a fuck at this point. What's he got on me now? Not shit. He can't go cry behind somebody else's fucking desk. He can go cry behind that one. He'll get punched in the face on both sides of him. Fuck him. Um... <laughs> oh shit. It, it you let somebody's fucking mind make up and believe whatever they want to. Toby had, had a girlfriend prior to that. That was a shit show. Getting one coworker to call the sheriff on another coworker was the best that one I got. Perfect. I remember when the Randy with an eye video came out. Demanded an apology. I was told that I had to make an apology video. I made the apology video. Well, I'm out of here. Eight hours of MSHA annual training tomorrow. Oh, joy. Good night, fellas. Cody, get the fuck out of here. I don't even know what any of that means, but I don't have to do it, so it's Randy is one of who is a wedding instead of instead of a garage, correct? Yep. He got a wedding. His brother-in-law and sister got a garage. That's how this works. I mean, not in my world, but in their world. So, MSHA is mind training. You mean mind training? Anyway. We swapped our bosses. Packing sign, granny cap sign. And then called to a company dad is Porsche and pounded. Damn. Parking sign. I'm assuming that was not on the base, right? No, like a coal mine. All right. He didn't have to elaborate. I was just joking. Either way. On base. No shit. So is there like an on base towing company or you got to sublet that shit out? That's funny as fuck. Got a tow to the impound yard in the ghetto. Perfect. I grew up in West Virginia and my family worked in the mines. MSHA stuff was common around my house. Most ever again. She was a fucking train wreck. I will say that. MSHA training is dumb. Sorry, Cody. It's out in town. But then when I thought I got stupid again, it was talk of the town. Well, it's not any different than rolling a fucking track off the air ago, so. Dex says, I feel like Toby has a Tinder account. That's funny as fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know that he has a Tinder account. It's more like a Smolder account, but. <laughs> <laughs> He was mad as fuck. They picked it up with a hook. 
Truck two, not even flat, but damn! OPSO on my first squadron. No swiping here. Oh, come on, that's funny. Smolder accounts, funny. I'll drink a beer on that one, though. I got shit to do tomorrow, but I'm going to drink another Bud Light. Nobody wanted to pay me for the lining light, so. Six pack and a 750, we're going to be fine. Just picture of him laying across the hood of a D6 in a banana hammock. Hey. I don't know what you do for a, a hobby there, Jack, but that ain't right. It's like tinder, but for fabricators. Well, life lessons learned after 30. You're not anybody's first choice, and there aren't yours either. <laughs> <laughs> she was like 28, though. Wasn't she? She was younger than you. She was, she was younger than you, like a little bit long, like six, eight years younger than you. That's absolutely true. Toby says the 42 year old single guy. Hey, I practiced. I'm not going to lie, I practiced, but I fucking absolutely declared that she was my practice wife, so. No fucks given there. I told her he was on Farmers Only. Rick thinks I should date equestrians. No, I do not. How old is Toby, and how far are you two apart, Rick? Dude, I heard all about the equestrian from Rick. <sighs> well, Luke, if you've hung it, hung for it. If you're hung for it, if, if you're hung for it, yeah. If you're hung like a fucking horse. He said it was a good idea. He's been wrong so far. I said it was a good idea. Toby was older than Rick. My head just split in two. What? 43, I thought you were older than that. Ha <laughs> ha! That's funny as fuck. Kyle says I feel young around you guys. The horse trainer at the 350 Diesel King Ranch was his worst idea. <clears throat> My worst idea. How are all your fucking bad relationships coming back on me all of a sudden? I'm asking. The only criteria I've ever had is let me meet them first and we'll figure the fuck out from there. They stick around after meeting me. You're going to be fine. Shit. Squatch, to be fair. Clearly your, clearly your fault, but thanks for helping me fix your wipers. You're welcome. To be fair, I actually told you the first meeting that you needed to get the fuck out of there. Thought the reason he was a YouTuber full time now is because he retired. Wow! Stay the fuck away from the horse chicks, Joe says. Seriously, if I let my hair and beard grow out, I age about 15 years. No shit. Been gray ever since 26. 
Here, I thought Luke was going to turn into a Ford guy. Why, you need some support on that end or what? Rich dating site, Borker. Yeah, my old girlfriend was a horse chick. Never again. Okay, I'm going to go serve horse singles before bed. No, you don't. That's horse singles? I mean, singles? Anyway, get the fuck out of here. Luke, I appreciate you, buddy. Horse chicks are fucking wild. They're a bad fucking idea. I can tell you right now. Probably seems I'm dragging home more and more Ford garbage. See? J-Dub says, horse chick, run, Forrest, run. Shit, I didn't know you was in here. I ain't ever seen you before. 29 in and 62 thumbs up. Well, it's time for this. Hell, we to hit the sack. Gotta drive to Missouri tomorrow. Oh, well, fuck's sake. Nobody wants to do that shit. Who wants to drive to Misery? Some of the rodeo stories I have from 18 to 22 that involve host girls are pretty fucking wild. See? Joe says you better delete your search history when you're done. That's what burner accounts are for. All he does is do bad ideas near Jacksonville. And then he just lets it go from there. It just turns out the top one is equestrians and their owners. Fuck's sake. Like, really, why? And two phones. That's right. Burner accounts and two phones. I gotta take a leak and then I'll finish from beer. Get the fuck out of here. I swear to God. I'm leaving after this one, though. I'm done. I think it's actually done snowing. Is it done snowing or no? Holy fucking drifting. Good lord. My wife's still awake. The lights are still on. That doesn't mean she's still awake. It just means she hasn't gone to sleep yet. Or she fell asleep with the lights on. Squeaky floor. I swear to God, it's a squeaky floor. Okay, my first girlfriend was a barrel racer too, and the only one I still kind of miss. Well, it's every shot so far. Still fucking snowing here, lightly though. Rained all day here. Toby, you don't seem like a horse type of guy. Was that the first girlfriend with the crazy ass mother? It was before I knew. Her. Yeah, Rick, a long time ago. I'm not a horse guy. That's why. They, yeah. I should go see what kind of shit I'm fall is falling outside. Adam, I appreciate you, buddy. Correct, sir. That's all right. All right. I got. I, I know that one. I know of. <laughs> Holy shit. She was a barrel racer? That makes sense. That makes sense. That all makes sense. I didn't know she was a barrel racer. I knew the bitch was crazy and so was her mother, but 
It all makes sense now. That shit could have got fucked up quick. Like Randy fucked up quick. Friday story hours keep getting longer. Yeah. We're gonna have a lot more ground to turn over in the spring, though. I'm just not I'm just not sure where, but we're gonna have a lot more ground to turn over. It's cool though. Literally nobody on my channel would ever believe it. Mads, you fucked up son of a bitch. I'm telling you right now. Everybody, though, everybody just thinks Squatch just been just a divine motherfucker the whole time. Figure that out. Going to be plow day and a lot of beer drank telling stories. So it'll be a two hours of storytelling and a plow day. There's going to be a lot more than two hours of story time at this rate. Shit. I told a few of these stories to people. Kyle can vouch for this. He didn't believe me. He didn't fucking believe that the stories that I was. Oh, I can't believe that shit. Story day where a plow day breaks out. That's right. Um, I told Kyle these stories one night. He didn't fucking believe me. Did not fucking believe me. I, I was told fucking, I've, I've told everybody. Uh, Toby and I aren't that much fucking different. It's the only reason we've gotten along. If we was that far apart, we'd have gotten a fucking fist fight. That's a fact. I'm sorry, I just got in 20 minutes ago. That's all right. I didn't believe him. Mr. Right and Proper running into co-workers' colors didn't seem accurate. Must be something about Randy's at, our, at work. Had one at our shop, too. Right? They're all a little off, except for Randy. Well, Randy Olson's a little off, too. I'm just going to be honest. like the guy, but fuck it. Is there enough beer in the tri-state area for Plow Day stories? Because I'm pretty much the only fucking lush that's there. Everybody else is kind of right and proper, and they think they got responsibilities the next day. I'm just fucking full send it. Let's fucking get it. Fuck's given. Nope. Martin, what's going on, buddy? Martin says it's his new year. Well, happy new year, bud. You're five days late, but... Can't be hung over if you never stop drinking. It's the plan for life. My freaking birthday! Holy shit! Martin, how old are you, bud? You're a man, I can ask. Can't ask a woman all day or fuck, you just gotta assume and then they get pissed off either way, but either way. The drive home would keep me from going full send. You can drive home the next day for fuck's sake. Well, I may have acquired some new trucks for plow day. Eh? Okay, there's only 27 fucking people here, dickhead. Let's go. Rodeo queens are one thing, but horse trainers, chicks is a whole other favorite crazy. I, you know what? I think if you're involved in any kind of livestock and... Yeah. I know what livestock and horses cost. I, I I wouldn't fucking I wouldn't date one of me. I'm just saying. We'll be fifty nine in February, Martin. Hot damn, Lee, get after it. Appreciate you, bud. The 
That figures, castle and fix this broken trash from the last plow day. LOL. Wow! Squatch is... We gotta get Squatch in one of these group texts. I'll just get pissed off and quit, but... Sleep in the truck. Jack says you don't get involved. You fucking forget him. I could pull a fucking travel trailer up. I'm not guaranteeing spring plow days at Squatch's place, though. We got all the ground to turn. I got opportunities. I've been fucking getting clearance and fucking permissions and all that shit, so. It's probably not at Squatch's or my place. We got fucking ground to turn. But I, I could pr probably provide some housing. We could probably figure out a sober cab if y'all can't fucking figure it out. Shit. You better bring a fucking tractor to get some shit done, though, if I'm going to put your ass up for a night. Tell me you're listening to getting any shorter. Our missus is begging for undercarriage. You already have. Group text pissed me right the fuck off. Remember what I told Randy he could do with his fancy fucking poser boots the last time he tried that shit? I know, but it would be funny for a second. Between you and Connor, somebody's got to get pissed off and leave the conversation. I'm not giving up because I'm here. I'm just here to piss everybody off. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> so now we're doing it in the morning, boys. We're pulling Toby into the group conversation. So, group text? Yep. <laughs> Holy shit. Who else wants in? Who else can we piss off tomorrow? Jack, you got me on Facebook? Send me your number. I'll throw you in there. I'll fucking let her eat. I got you on Facebook. I'm pretty fucking sure. Send me a messenger. I get you. My phone is a disaster to text with. It's a... It's a fail phone. Perfect. I've done very well at ignoring it. Rants in the group text that I'm not involved in. Have you? Jennifer White Wolf said, long time no be here. Jennifer, what's going on? You're late. Uh. I'm out of beers, but I'll, well, I'm not out of beers, but I'm done drinking for the night. How you doing with the snow? <laughs> I'm not happy about it, I'll tell you that. I got way too many other things to fucking do than plow snow. Although the uh, transmission rebuild that's in the shop, that one, perfect. It's pretty much thought off for tomorrow, so we're going to do an, a tranny overhaul on that one tomorrow. Friday-ish, yeah. You have my number. I don't have Facebook on this phone yet. Well, for fuck's sake. I got your number, Alex. Same phone. Group get group text gets pretty wild, but we'll uh, we'll rope in a few. Been watching the snow at Toby's, almost next door. Yeah, but Toby's a dramatic fuck. He just makes it out to be more than what it is. That's what YouTube is for him. It's drama. Rick, that one got the R, the 4R100, the smaller 4R70W. That is a 4R75E. Rebuild kit right there. Right there. That one. That big box. 4R75E. 
So if I run into any real questions, I'll ask you. But other than that, I'm pretty sure I got her hammered down. I'm not going to pull a jink. I won't fuck around with your time any more than you'd fuck around with mine. So overdrive and third overdrives out third slipping. So it's pretty simple with 360 on it. As long as the fucking servo bars are good, we're all right. Basically, later series for our 70W, those aren't too bad to rebuild. That's what I figured. I've been into them. Didn't Toby do transmission at the Fort Garage? Maybe you should invite him over for old time's sake. Pretty sure he's got better shit to do. I've been into transmissions myself. I've been there too. Heat shop building is a must in Minnesota winners. 100%. We are 67 and climbing with the big ice block I just pulled in. You've either got a burn band or a direct clutch. Not too happy. Like you said, make sure the servo burrs aren't flogged. Other than that, if the servo bars aren't flogged, you just fucking throw a master rebuild kit in it. Pistons, bands, frictions, and steels. All in that, all in that big old heavy box over there. So as long as the case is right, I got you. Get her done. And the uh torque converter will be here tomorrow from Napa Sioux. We had two days of snow and ice that um, then a huge few tree fell on our deck, took out the hot tub and all the deck furniture. Well, fuck. Sorry to hear that, Jennifer. We had a lot of trees get tore down there. I didn't say you were incapable. I just didn't know if you wanted to share the fun. Nah. Any Anybody that knows me knows that I'm going to fucking... I'll take her on the chin. And if I need help, I ain't afraid to ask for it. But for the most part, I know my shit. Most part. If I don't know my shit, I don't know my shit. I'm willing to admit that. But I was just going to ask where the torque converter was. Got you. Um, but yeah, otherwise, it's uh, shit's kind of basic. Your part swapping. Do it in the right order. I've been into way worse things. <laughs> so. Not a huge deal. It's And it's like six weeks out to get a... Four to six weeks now to get a fucking tranny for it. So they need it in a timely fashion. It's... uh. What are the chances of the 350 actually getting a serious restoration this winter? And if so, what are you doing to the motor? Jack wants to know. Oh, we got all the serious questions going on. Fuck's sake. I need another beer for this. We're asking Toby questions and he's still here. You better hang out for 15 minutes, dickhead. This is the latest you've been up in a while. Shit. I don't know why I'm here for you to ask questions, but. Here we is. Here we are. Pretty much zero chance of another restoration on that one. Just injectors, clutch, and tune up. Not going down the same old rabbit hole again. And know what you said on the last one? Is that I'm pretty sure that is fucking verbatim what you said on the Super M. Is that not verbatim what you said on the Super M? I knew this 350 would be the next Super M, Kyle says, right? 100%. That is 100% the next Super M. Another beer. This is True Borg. 
Jennifer says, hi, Kyle. Been enjoying your channel, too. I ain't been uploading fuck all, so you may as well enjoy everybody else's channel. No, because the Super M doesn't have injectors. Aside from that, you're correct, sir. So, I'm right. And here we go. May as well make it pretty. Seriously thinking about freshening up with the paint on the H next year, though. Well, you may as well do the 350 while in the interim. Fuck's sake. As far as I know, engine parts on the non-existent for the Continental Diesels on three, those 350s. So 350 this winter, H over the summer, right? I mean, fuck, it's just all content. I mean, like, fucking, this is what you do. Shit. Seems like it's pretty easy to be. You get a unanimous, unanimous decision vote from all the people that matter. All like 22 of them that are in here. And four of them that are commenting, so. You got no fucking choice at this point, bud. I'm just telling you. Order a pallet of IH red paint. There you go. Oh. Jennifer says, yes, YouTube is your job. Now we want to see the 350 done up. There you go. Correct. They're worse finding parts for it than a cat. It's only needs to run and drive. That's it. The H needs front bolster rebuilt, proper distributor put on, and new paint and decals. Huh. 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 Yeah, you, you have to define need real fast. Those red trashers can take your unintended places. There's eight of them here. All of them are, are mobile at the moment. There you go. Plus better gears to put in the rear ends so that doesn't whine so bad. I already have all the parts. Perfect. I had a 350 diesel at one point, traded it for a pile of aluminum, pulling parts for my 70 diesel. Sounds like an H content. Drew says, I'm flirting with a training, uh, crazy horse trainer chick the past few days, but she's in France. Haha, <laughs> just emailed her now. Oh, Drew, bud. God bless. I actually think the 350 would be a nice project. I haven't done a diesel wheeled tractor yet. Just 7.3 swap 350 or put a 560 engine in it. Fucking, fucking engine swap like Kyle would. Holy shit. I only went fired in. Goddamn happy new year, Rick. Been busy with the fire the, the fam, but you're back now, my friend. Hell yeah. Appreciate you. How's the big island order? Hey Squatch, will we see the old prototype again in 23? Holy oh shit. Master nuns in. Sean, what's going on? I'll do a diesel wheel tractor only after Kyle does the diesel track tractor. Wow. Good to go. Neil said, Neil? Is it Neil? I think it's Neil. Um, I need to get 70 out, rear in, and make the bitch run again. Eight by eight more stroke, two cylinder. Perfect. I wouldn't swap that diesel. It runs and it, it's. Decently rare. Lava shut off, so we're safe. Perfect. 
Rick, what tractor stuff you have in the works? I'm nothing definite. I'm just trying to fucking survive. Holy shit, master of none. How the hell are you? Sean missed all the Ford stories tonight. I know. Sean actually had Ford stories the other day when he was here. Hot minute ago. He was out here putting windshields in. Figure that the fuck out. Funny how shit changes, isn't it? Toby game on. John sent me a shitload of NOS parts. Nice. Eileen Woodford, where are you at? John said he's too busy swearing out all this broken shit. Fucking autocorrect. I'm going to have to make Adam a fucking moderator. Hang on, hang on here. Because Adam's swearing too much. We'll just add him as a moderator. There we go. Adam, now you can just swear all you want. Nobody has to fix it for you. So Did the same at mom's in my house earlier. Tried all the shit already. Glad the lava stopped for a while. Secondhand stories, mind you guys. Uh. Sounds like it's a real... Sean, how many times you been back there since? You don't know. Is it still a shit show or what? Every time I've driven in there, they haven't had fuck all to do, but... Hi, Lou. Hi, Lou. Side Big Island. Beside the Big Island, right? Well, I'm officially one year out. Rick's about nine or so months. Fuck yeah. Loving every minute of it. I mean, let's be honest. I'll be honest. Some days fucking suck. I just fucking, yeah, you get a different fucking job somewhere else, but that's self-employment for you. Different spectrum for you than it is for me, but for the most part, I'll, I really enjoy it. I wouldn't I wouldn't go back to working for fucking Ford Garage to save my fucking life, I'll tell you that. We had a friend that lived in the Big Island, grew in the past... Or a paradise there. Perfect. Back to the park garage. Not a... Not once it's sold. I've been back twice. For, uh... Well, let's call it... No, I have not been back to the park garage since it sold and officially changed hands. I've been back there twice since it. I left... For commissioned work. They commissioned me to do shit. I haven't been back there since it sold and officially changed hands. So. Ford place sold. Thought it was just closed and gone. How'd the pa- that pickup go? Done, fine, fixed, gone. Not my deal. Well, it was my deal, but it wasn't, you know. Nobody fucking shows up. It was, uh, certain people aren't there. It's kind of anticlimactic, and I just fixed the fucking thing. That's all I do. I didn't understand the, the problem, but, that they were having, but I understood the problem that the vehicle was having, so, problem solved. Is this still a Ford franchise? No. All of it, all of it is an independent repair facility. <laughs> we want to call it that. How you been? Hope you and the family have a great Christmas and much love, brother. Neil, I appreciate you, brother. It's just been, been a little bit of a shit show, but I'll survive. Wasn't at the dealer? It was at the dealer, but it's all in... It's not even a dealer anymore. 
It's an independent repair facility. But. Got some friends that have messed with those two bangers. They're not for me. I got inside people at that place. I got I got inside folk. So shit goes seamless. Same whore, different dress, right? Hundred percent. Just on who you're dealing with. <laughs> shit, at this point, I got I got my. my the main mo- main motherfucker in charge is getting paid by them, and he's working for me. So, fuck are we gonna do? <laughs> I text I text Toby about that the other day, and I tell you what, he's been pouring his shit on. I'm telling you right now, I'm all right. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Two banger hour can underload underload music. There you go. Everybody sticks to the IH forward six cylinder, but the seventy was something we put together in the early two thousand tens just to piss people off. There you go. Get her done. I don't have any. Uh, I'm just trying to make my way. Same fucking same. I'm just the same guy working in the same fucking community that I have been for 20 years. So I don't see why there's a problem. It's my lead time. Depends. Really depends. Right now, about seven to ten days, on average. But if I like you, I can work a few extra hours and make it fucking work. Depending on what you need. But. That's about it. Parts availability fucking trumps that. I've had some serious fucking problems. Chrysler parts are fucking terrible to get. Uh, Horrible to get. Must be catching up. Yeah, Christmas. Well, the Christmas thing gave me a little bit of break, but scheduled light between Christmas and New Year's, just trying to do some things. And I figured uh, while we were gone, and so that's not too bad. John Deere R Diesel is pretty much the only two banger I like the sound of. Smooth and even and excellent on the belt. Local small shows are on a sawmill with one, and the front end jumps under load. It's nice, perfect. Mark has a skater with a Detroit. I need him to fire that up and pull some trees for firewood. I have been, I just haven't been making any video. Kyle says you just like the pony start. No, I've been consistently staying about one to two weeks out on on the schedule. I uh, backed off on the scheduling a little bit around the holiday and, well, since we came back from Florida, I you know wanted to be a little bit flexible. I wanted to do some butchering. Um, so there's a few jobs that I just didn't take, but I didn't need the headache. So yeah, I'm good. I can make money when I want to make money, and I don't have to when I don't want to. So. Tractor makes enough power. We can get it down to 540 on a 150 horse dyno. And we'd have to have my hands on a bigger PTO dyno. Perfect. Nice hat. Appreciate you.
Beef steaks, Jennifer. We, we got beef hanging right now. Either this weekend or middle of next week. We're going to... It's got to hang. You got to age it. But uh, probably middle of next week. We're going to... Get that one zing zanged up. I got to get some customer done. And that's, that's been my uh, Achilles heel right now is finding the compromise between getting customer pay done and butchering. So... Do you like the ponies, but only if they're fully tuned. If they're not, they can be horrible. Get one back to 100% and better than electric start every day of the week and twice on Sunday. 100%. I, I will agree with you on that. I do need a fucking starter solenoid for that goddamn Detroit on the skidded. Can heat that bastard up with a heat gun so it'll fucking... Wow, the clutch is held. There you go. I use Caterpillar phones. You know them? I don't know Caterpillar phones. I'm, I'm a fucking Samsung guy. I mean, you like John Deere R because it has a pony, 100%. Pony motors are just plain traditional, too. Okay. Hour of overtime. Squatch is still here. I'm actually going to go the fuck home. I got shit to do tomorrow. I got transmission to rebuild, and... uh Get this thing back into service. I go check my wood stove and water the critters and all that stuff for the night. So appreciate y'all, but Toby needs to go to the fucking bed. So hope you guys have a great night and have a great week. I'll try to upload something for you tomorrow, but I can't uh, guarantee what it's going to be. See you on the next one.